In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add a redirect anytime you move or delete content from your WordPress website. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So there are a couple different ways to add redirects in WordPress when you change the URL of your content or delete content. The hard way to do it is to manually add redirect code to the htaccess file or some other file that your server uses. That's the hard way to do it. The easy way to do it is to use the all-in-one SEO plugin. So the first thing we're going to do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the install now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down this page, there's a spot for us to enter our All-in-One SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at AIOSEO.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our All-in-One SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you have All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left. And we're going to click on the link that says Redirects. So you see up top, we have a couple of different tabs, but let's start with the part that's front and center, the Add New Redirection. So the first option over here is the source URL. That's the page you want to redirect. I know I have a page on this site called Table of Contents. I think I called the page TOC. So if I start typing that in, that page will come up. So I'm going to select that page. And I have another page on my website called Test Puppy Post. In fact, I have a lot of pages with the word test in it. So I'll show you how this works. If I type in test, all of those pages will come up. And here's the puppy post one. The other really cool thing about the all-in-one SEO redirect feature is you can redirect multiple URLs at once. So if I go ahead and click the add URL button here, I could add in talk demo three as well and redirect both of those to test puppy post. But I'm going to take that out right now. So if I want to add this redirect now, there is an option over here for the redirect type. Most users, you're just going to leave this on 301, but all these other options are here if you know what they are and know how to use them. Then you simply just click the big blue button that says Add Redirect. Now, I actually do not want to direct my table of contents demo page to my test puppy post demo page. So if I scroll down below and I see all my redirects here, I can see the one I just added. And if I want to get rid of it, I can simply click the delete link. And now that redirect has been deleted. So any redirect that you set up on your site will appear in this list below. Let's go over to one of the other tabs. The second tab is full site redirect. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but if I click the toggle switch next to relocate site, I can move my entire site to a new address. Let's say I wanted to move this site to AIOSEO. 2.com. All I have to do is hit Save Changes and that will redirect the entire website. Now, obviously, make sure you don't do this unless that is actually what you want to do. There are some more advanced features below that, like site aliases. It's telling me site aliases are disabled right now because I'm 
redirecting the site. It's kind of an either or situation. So if I turn off my redirect, I have access to site aliases. This is um, URLs coming into your site. So kind of like a redirect in reverse. So let's say I had a URL called AIO SEO Sandbox. I could then redirect that to my current site. This add new button does not add the alias. It just adds another line to create a new alias. If you want to add the alias, you're going to use the big blue save changes button. Below aliases, we have a setting here called canonical settings. And if you toggle that switch on, this is where you can decide things like whether you want to force HTTP to redirect to HTTPS and whether you want to remove or add www to the domain or just leave it as is. Below that, we have HTTP headers. This is a pretty advanced feature, but if you know what you're looking for here, there's basically any header you can think of. You can select that and add it to your redirect. And then you would click the big blue Save Changes button to save your changes. I'm not going to be saving any of these changes, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on the next tab on Logs. The log section just shows you a log of anyone that is using these redirects. So this is telling me the redirect I set up called test-puppy-post has actually been used once. Someone landed on that and got redirected, and the same for toc-demo. The next tab up top is 404 logs. This is an incredibly powerful feature of the redirect section of All-in-One SEO. So if I take a look at the 404 logs here, I can see the first item is test puppy post two, and I can see someone has tried to hit that page, but it doesn't exist, and they're getting a 404 error. So you'll see 404 errors across your website. Again, this is a demo site, I've only got a handful of hits here. On a live site with lots of traffic, you could have hundreds or thousands of hits on these 404s. So I can tell from this log that people are actually looking for Test Puppy Post 2 or have it saved in their bookmarks or something, and they're getting a 404 error. So right from this log page, I can simply click the Add Redirect link here, and I know that the actual Test Puppy Post page exists without the 2 on it. So I'll start typing in Puppy. And there's the post I want them to land on. I click the blue button that says Add Redirect. And now anyone that hits that link, Test Puppy Post 2, will get redirected to the correct page. And you can do this for anything that shows up in your logs. Very powerful feature. The next tab up top is Import Export. I'm going to show you how this works in reverse. So I'll show you the export first. This is really useful if you had moved your site to another URL or something and you don't want to manually add in all of these redirects. You can just export them before you make that move and then import them on the new site. I'm going to select the first checkbox here that says export all redirects, but you can break it down at a pretty granular level. There's manual redirects, modified post, or 404s. I'm just going to go with the default and select all of them. And I'm going to export this as a JSON file. So then going the other way, if I wanted to import redirects, this would be after you set up the new site. I just choose that file that I downloaded. And I select import. I'm not going to do that on this site because I don't want to import redirects that I just exported 30 seconds ago. The next tab up top is the settings section. The first option is the redirect method, whether you want it to be PHP or at the web server level. And then we have the Nginx option or the HT access file option. Most people, 90% of the time, you can just leave this at the default as PHP. That's what I'm doing. And then with our logs for 404s and redirects, we're deciding how long to keep those. One week is what I have this set to. I actually want to change my 404 logs to forever and save all of those. You can choose whatever option you want here, depending mostly on the size of your website and how big you want those logs to get. You also have the option to log external redirects that have happened outside of AIO SEO, and you can log the HTTP header information as well. I'm gonna leave those off because that's what they were at default. And the default options across the all-in-one SEO plugin are very good. Below that is a section for IP logging, log the IP address. I'm gonna leave that as is and leave it on. The HTTP cache header, I can cache redirects for one hour or up to forever. I'm just going to leave that as is. Below that, we have automatic redirects. And with this on, our plugin will monitor your site. And anytime you change a URL, it will automatically put in a redirect. If you want that off, just toggle the switch to off and make sure neither of these types are selected. Otherwise, you could have it all post, all pages, either one. If you had custom types in here, like if you had WooCommerce installed, maybe products would appear here. 
I'm going to leave it on because I think it's a great feature. Below that is monitor trash. What this means is anytime you throw something out, throw a poster page out, All-in-One SEO will monitor the trash and automatically put in a redirect for that piece of content. That's pretty awesome too. Below that, it's just a little more granular on the defaults, ignore slash, ignore case. I'm going to leave the defaults as they are. The redirection type, the default is 301 moved permanently, but if you know what you're doing, there are plenty of options here to choose from. I'm going to leave that on the default, and query parameters has a couple options as well. Below that is our advanced 404 settings. I want to warn you, most users are probably going to want to leave this off, but I'll walk you through this. If you flip the toggle switch on, the first setting is about a default 404 redirect. So if we enable that default 404 redirect, this is saying that any 404 error is going to redirect to our home page. Or you can also set a custom URL here and you can redirect the 404s there. Now, having a 404 error show up on your site doesn't seem like a great user experience, but directing users to your homepage can be worse because it brings them to your homepage instead of the content they were looking for. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because I don't want that feature enabled. And then below that, we can decide to use a smart slug redirect, and the 404s will be redirected by the URL slug. And then there is an option for, I believe this is our elite plan, to redirect 404s to the parent page or parent category. And this can be very useful for an e-commerce store, if you've deleted a certain sneaker from your store, for example, that page could then redirect to all of your sneakers instead of to your home page. When you're done making changes here, you hit the big blue save changes button and you're done. So that's how to easily add a redirect to your WordPress website. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video, as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you that slug monitor feature we talked about earlier in this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.